Hey everyone, it's John, and today what I want to do is show you how you can get colour-coded syntax highlighting for free on your Windows machine and your Linux terminal for network configurations, which makes it so much easier when you're dealing with complex configurations, as well as network automation when you're dealing with a lot of data which you have to sift through. So the plan is for this video is to quickly show you what these two solutions look like, the Windows one, then the Linux one, then just I'll actually cut back, uninstall the programs and do the full installation with you so you can see how you do it and give you some tips and tricks at the end. Okie doke, so with that said, let's go and do it. Now the first one which I want to show you is called MOBA Xterm. If you're familiar with Secure CRT, MOBA Xterm pretty much does the exact same thing, but it doesn't cost anything unless you want to buy the Enterprise version. So what I'm going to show you is the free version and you can see how it looks. So just what I'll do first is I've got this topology here and because there's a quite a lot of configurations on this topology, I'm just going to show you because it'll actually maybe highlight the differences. So distribution uh, switch 2 here I've grabbed and randomly I've grabbed an access switch and I've got console in. So you can see we've got some highlighting here, but you'll notice when I start typing some particular keywords, the actual uh, terminal will start highlighting them. It's already pre-programmed to do so. So the word show you can see is there. So if I do show run, for example, and I hit enter, what you're going to see is certain words like disabled, up, down, are going to have particular uh, colors. Mm -hmm. Building configuration, if we can speed up a little bit. Okay, so you can see straight away we've got different colours here. Service, version, host name is highlighted. Uh, the word root is highlighted. The word no gets read. So when you're actually looking through a lot of configurations, this makes it really, really easy to see and identify what you're looking at. Okay. You see what I mean? So this is what this software looks like, and I say it's absolutely free, it won't cost you anything, but I think a lot of people don't actually know about it. But like I say, when you've got a lot of uh, configurations like I do in this switch, it really does make it a lot easier to eyeball, say, a show run, and just draw your eyes straight to where you want to go to. So let me just go through all these. Just keeps it all really, really simple. And it's a lot more pleasing on the eye than just seeing solid black text or solid white text. So, like I say, I'll just go into this one as well. Same again here. If I do a what I show IP int brief, you can clearly see what ones are down, what ones are up. Uh, if I did say, I don't know, show what we do, just do a show run, oh, show run in that as well, rather. So you can see all the word IPs, failure, spanning tree, all these words are all highlighted for you. So it makes it really, really easy to eyeball your configuration and um, find what you're looking for. And it can also do some other things like, uh, I'll show you some tips and tricks later on actually, but you can actually search it like you would a text file, like control F and just find a word. So it actually reads it like an actual text document. So it makes it really, really handy to actually find your configurations and sift through some complex data. So that's the first solution. And what I want to do is just come back and I'll show you the second one for Linux. So just hold tight and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I've just briefly switched over to the topology which I was using for the network automation demonstration on Nornir. So like I say, you can do the same type of thing on Linux using something called Chromaterm. Now this is very handy, again, for dealing with kind of complex configurations and in my opinion, dealing with network automation when you're dealing with, say, the output of possibly 20 devices, 30 devices, 100 devices, depends how many. So like I say, I think this is quite handy, so what I'll do is I'll show you that just now. So, beforehand, um, just an ls, so I'll just do a python3 and I did, uh, what we do, non your script 2, just as it was, okay? And I did show um, interface gig02. So it's going to go out and grab all the show interface 02s for all the machines, which is fine, so you can see that there. But what I can do is, rather than just looking at all this white text, if you've got maybe 50 devices, it can be a little bit easier to see it if you do this, okay? So you actually download that something called Chroma Term, and then you just pipe the output to CT Chroma Term. Now you push enter, 
and then I do the exact same show I'll do show in gig zero two and now it's going to highlight particular things like MAC addresses IP addresses the words like timeout drops no collisions all these types of things so it makes it a lot um, easier to actually see so same again if I did um, say we do a user in our script 3 and we'll pipe this to CT again and you can see we've got our IPv6 highlighted in one colour, IPv4 highlighted, MAC address is different colour so on and so forth and it just makes it a little bit easier to read when you've got a lot of output okay so it gives you that kind of coloration and what you can also do is you can actually just interact directly with your SSH shell and just still get the coloration so I'll show you, I'll show you what I mean here so if I do SSH John into device 192.168.153.11 this is how I'd ordinarily get in Cisco and that'd be me in I'd do a show IP and brief okay if I come out it and I do that but with the actual SSH I just pipe that again to CT to chroma term and I do that now if I do show IP int brief we're going to get this coloration you see that we can see what's up and what's down and this makes it a little bit easier to actually see um, what's going on so like I say I'm going to keep the video short what I'm going to do is stop it now I'm going to uninstall these programs and then do the full installation for each of them with you and then at the end I'll give you some tips and tricks on the both of them so hang tight and be back in a second okay so I've just uninstalled both of the programs the first one which I'm going to reinstall is mobile X term so what I'm going to do is open up a new tab and just go to Google and just search for mobile X term and click the top link here, Mobile XM3 X7 and tab SSH client for Windows. And up the top here, click on download. We want the free home edition, so we'll download this one. And on the right hand side, we want to download the installer edition. So we click that, save the file. That'll download. There we go, if we right click, open containing folder and we just right click and extract all and extract double click the installer next accept the terms next next install say yes to that and finish so now if we go over here and we type in MOBA we should have this app and just let that unpack And for easy access I just like to right click it and pin it to the taskbar so if we full screen this the first thing I'm going to go to is the settings button here okay so we click that and we go to terminal and what I want to do is change the syntax highlighting we want to Cisco network configuration and because I'm demonstrating this for you I want to make the text a little bit bigger and I'll leave the font at mobile font I'll just leave it at that so we'll save that okay and if I just close that down just restart it there we go so what I want to do is go over to session to start a session we want a telnet now if I go back to my EVNG I've got two nodes started see when I highlight one this is just the way EVNG works if you look at the bottom left of your screen we'll see the actual IP address and the port number 192.168.153.147 so that's the And the port number for this one is 51861. So if I do oh, 51861 and I OK that, we should now start a session. So if I right click up here, I'll just change the tab name to R1 and we'll have that session saved. So if I now click uh, enter, we've got that here. So what if I want to go into the other one? All I do is highlight that one again same IP address different port number so we're going to go to a session again telnet 192.168.153.147 and the port number this time on EVNG we want is highlight that 35721 and we just ok that 
We've now got a second tab open, so we'll just call this, right click this, rename tab, and tab as R2. And these sessions are saved. So what I could do here, I could go to view and click compact mode, and we'll just have it a bit smaller. And we've just got our basic um, configurations here. So we can go in and do all your configurations. But what you can also do is, if I right click this and go to view and take compact mode off, there's some kind of cool things you can do here. See if I do multi-exec, it's going to send the commands to both of these devices. So if I push enter and I do enable, you can see what's happening. It's writing it to both. I could do IPv6 unicast routing, configure it on both. If I want to put a new username, username um, Paul Privilege 15 password Cisco. Do you know what I mean? And you can configure all your devices this way. If you've got five devices, it'll put five terminals up. So you can do that with the multi execute mode. What you can also do if I just exit this, and go back on to my sessions. You can actually go into the settings and what you can do is with your terminal, you can customize this and say you want certain words to have certain colors. So you can actually add your own customizations. I just leave it on the default Cisco setting. I think it's quite uh, handy and it works quite well. So that's the first one, mobile X term. We'll close that. Okay, now the second one is um, Chroma term. So I'm just going to open up the Linux. All you need to do with this, this is super easy, is pip3 install Chroma term. And that's it, that's it installed. So if I just did say echo a word like say John and pipe to the Chroma term, it'll do nothing because it doesn't recognize John as a special word. But if I did echo, uh, say the word up, it knows up's got to go green. Do you see that? So Chroma term is simply installed that way. And like I say, what I did earlier with um, your SSH, just go to your SSH, use your pipe command and pipe into Chroma term and all your syntax highlight will be done for you. Okie doke. So that's pretty much the end of the video. I just wanted to show you those two little tips. And the next one I'm going to do, I'm actually going to be doing is continuing on with the CCMP switch series. I just thought I'd do this little uh, quick video in the interim before I start that in a couple of days. So that's the end of the video. Thanks very much and I'll see you guys soon. Bye bye.